Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day in the Lord. Come on, somebody, always give him praise. I don't care what you're going through, who you're going through. Come on, somebody, hallelujah, because the enemy, he think he's slick, but he's not, say God. Hallelujah. If you see my title, Sodom and Gomorrah, the devil is using the same tactics he used back then, increasing evil among God's people. I'm going to try to walk this thing out the way God has told me to pray. Praise God. I hope that you're having a blessed day. Make it a blessed day. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm going to be putting up more information about encouragement. Um, and I'm going to walk this thing out the way God says to. God says that the enemy is getting exactly what he wants. You have to remember, and I pray that you have read the Bible. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Um, from Genesis to Revelation. We see a series of events over and over. And if you look at it, it's simultaneously it's recreating itself. And that's what's happening. That's what we've seen. I know a lot of you don't want this to touch you because we don't like to see evil. We don't like to talk about evil. We don't like evil. Most human beings just want to have a good life, live, eat, drink, marry, get married, be happy. Y'all know what time it is. That's not reality for real especially if you are a child of God. So I'm going to go ahead and walk this thing out. God say we must stop giving him glory. Come on, somebody. And I'm talking about the enemy. The enemy is doing so much in these last days. That's why you see evil rising. Because what they want us to do is to be oppressed, suppressed, depressed. He doesn't want you to have the power of God. He wants you to get in fear. That's why they're killing people. That's why they're doing all this stuff, stealing kids. Anything to oppress you. Now, I need, I need to slow this thing down because I need to teach this thing. It's just like I was telling y'all in the book, Piercing Through the Darkness. I'm going to say it again. Piercing Through the Darkness. It talks about in every state, in every town, Frank E. Peretti. It's a thick book, but it's worth reading. He talks about how in every city, every state, that's why I tell y'all pray over your city, your states, your towns, your children, your countries. This stuff is real because in every state it's like, who does the most praying wins that city, that state, or that town? So if you go in some states, it's like, okay, I like being here because you feel a good spirit. Most um, states like Chicago, Los Angeles, Atlanta, you feel kind of oppression state because guess what? You know who's winning? The enemy. So that means that saints, come on somebody, hallelujah, we need to start getting on our job. We need to pray more instead of P-R-E-Y on each other. Y'all know what I'm saying. The enemy that came into the church. And he's got everybody sidetracked on money, um, branding, you know, trying to compete. Everybody wants to be a star. It is not about that. It's about who has the power of God. Who's been with God in a secret place. Who can speak a word to my spirit. Who have a word for my, come on somebody, hallelujah. So let me slow this thing down again. The enemy is winning in this hour. And you want to know why? Because we're focused on the wrong thing. I want you to stop and think. And, and, and look, I'm coming hard right now. I'm going to tell you right now. I'm about to give it all I got in this life. I'm not playing because the spirit of God overtake me. Do what you want to do. God, this is you and not Deanna. Because it's time. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God up in here. I'm sick of the enemy and so is God. You mean to tell me the disciples, 12 disciples. Turn this world upside down and we have all these Christians, so-called Christians, and we can't make a dent. The devil is a liar. He wants us to operate out of flesh and not spirit. God says those that worship me must worship me in spirit and in truth. You must carry the spirit of God in order to combat the enemy. And you cannot do that if you are in sin in any type of area of your life, any area of your life, whether it is drinking, cursing, and I'm talking about the stuff in excess, because just to be real, everybody do a little something. Quit lying. Y'all know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Let's be real. You can't, you don't have no power then. And truly, if you are called, God is not going to tell you to do anything. You can't even eat, overeat if you're a child of God, truth be told. How you going to fast? How you going to pray? How you going to walk in the spirit of God? The Bible says that Jesus being full of the Holy Ghost, that's when he went on this mission. Being full of the Holy Ghost, that's when he touched and prayed. Being full of the Holy Ghost, that's when he laid hands. We're in Sodom and Gomorrah all over again. And the enemy is using fear and hate and murder and stealing our kids. He's doing everything to make people afraid. The Bible says that you, if you love God, you should have much persecution. 
People of God, I want to encourage you to stick with God. I don't care what the enemy thinks to do. Oh, I'm going to walk this thing up. Do you remember the first revolution? It was in heaven. What did Satan do? He got people to come. He got God's angels to turn on God. Do you understand how powerful that is? So you are just flesh. You now you understand why some people turning. Oh, come on, somebody, hallelujah! But God said, Deanna, I, I, and I'm, I'm promise you, I'm finna pull back. Y'all know I've been talking about a lot about what's been going on, but we have to balance it out. We can't give the devil more glory than God. Yeah, I see you, devil. I see you killing people. I see you executing people. I see you stealing our kids. I see you doing all kind of stuff. But God is still in control. He still has the power. He's still Alpha and Omega. He is the beginning and end. Is there anything too hard for God? Y'all know why this is going on. Y'all don't want to touch it, but let me go ahead and tell y'all why this is going on. The church have loved God. We have Pharisees and Sadducees running the church. Don't act like y'all don't know it. They done made this thing about money and everything else when that is not the true nature of God. God don't care where you live. God don't care where you stay. God, this battle is for your soul, said the Lord. This is for your soul. And let me tell you something. Oh, I'm going scripture. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to have to go scripture with this. I got it. Now, y'all y'all know I'm not a pro in this, but just hold on. I got I to do some things here. I got to bring this back how I was doing it. Hold on. Oh, which one I did? I think it's this one. Okay, we're going to start. No, this is actually, let's see. This is the fourth one. Hold on. Okay, good. I got it. All right. So, we're going to start with 2 Timothy chapter 3, 1. It says, this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. Are we not there? They killing, they doing all they doing the same thing they did Sodom and Gomorrah. They did the same thing in Jesus' day. They didn't like Jesus. They didn't like his followers. They're not gonna like us, y'all. Oh, I'm gonna walk this thing out. Hold on. Listen to scripture. It's real, real. Number two, verse second Timothy three and two. For men should be lovers of their own selves. Is what? They don't even care about family. You got your own family living on the, on the street. When I see old men and old women, I'm thinking, where, where are your family? Because the Bible says that those that don't take care of their family is less than an infidel. Unless you're on an assignment from God, you should be taking care of your family. You heard what I said. The only thing that zip you from taking care of your family is if you are assignment from God. Hallelujah to his name. Because then he going to take care of them. Oh, come on, somebody. Y'all ain't ready for me because I'm on one. Hallelujah. So, for men should be lovers of their own selves, covetous, just wanting everything, boasters, proud, arrogant, just arrogant, blasphemous, just, just saying all kind of stuff to people about God, don't care. Is this one not real? Disobedient to parents. Can I tell you something? My dad is 73 years old and I still say yes, sir. What you talking about? Y'all people, y'all better stop that. Being just ugly, saying anything to your parents, even older children. Yeah, I said, you heard what I said, older children. Big little kids, unthankful. You should be thankful for everything, good, bad, and different. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Unholy. Oh, let me walk this thing out. Hold on. Hold on. Praise God. Okay, so let me go to the next one. All right, y'all, bear with me. I need me a graphic artist. I ain't lying, but the right one. <laughs> Until then, hey, I'm going to do what I do. Okay, hold on. Let me go slow with it. Okay, three, four. King James Bible says they become traitors. Can I tell y'all something? And somebody listening ain't gonna like this. This one right here is real. They they getting plants to come at your leaders. They getting plants. They getting men. They getting women. Traitors. Um, plants. As a matter of fact, if you Google this, China, they uh paying Christians. To, no, they paying. Yeah, they paying Christians to watch other Christians. And if you need money, are you hard up, or you don't care about God? Because there's no way God gonna tell you to plot and plan on on a brother and sister. I know we don't always see eye to eye, but God is never gonna tell you to take money and and spy on your brother and sister. You are a liar before God. I'ma call you a liar because you're a liar. Hallelujah. God ain't gonna tell you to do that. But guess what? It's big money. And and over here in the states too, it's big money, y'all. Y'all okay? Think I'm playing? Y'all better. Test the spirit by the spirit. And you'll know something funny because they ask you some crazy questions all the time. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me today. Heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. They'll think something wrong with you. Ain't nothing wrong with me, something wrong with you. Hold on. I didn't did it again, y'all. Y'all have to excuse me, y'all. I am not that, you know, whatever, whatever. Okay, so anyway, verse 5 says, 
Okay, maybe if I go this way to do it. All right. So th- th- uh, three five says, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof from such turn away. Can I tell you something? I have seen it all my life. They ha- they have a form of godliness. They ain't got no power. They ain't got no power. They talk a good game. They ain't got no power. Four six three six for all sort of which they creep into houses and lead captive silly women laden with sins led away with diverse lusts women of God you gotta wait on God I know sometimes it get lonely I know sometimes you you just but not oh God want me to tell you something and this is for men too by the way I used to think something was wrong with me I said God now look you know I want I want a husband what's up. And I say something wrong with me because, and I'm going to be very transparent. Most people are not going to be this transparent. I say, I've been rejected a lot. I say, I know I'm not an ugly person. You know, I'm a little chunky sometimes, you know, but I'm losing the way, you know, I'm, I'm talking real today. And God said, Deanna, you are hidden. Oh, I'm going somewhere with you. He said, they can't see you. Oh, come on, somebody say nothing wrong with you. He said, they can't see you. They have to reject you. He said, because the only one that I have ordained for you, he will be able to see who you really are. They're, they're seeing what they want you to be. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. That you're not this. You're not that. You're not this. He said, but the one that I have ordained that's sustained for you will see who you are and see whose you are. Oh, come on, somebody. I hope that helped you out. So you are not rejected, but protected. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me. That's why you can't be with just anybody. You better hold your horses, honey. While you are waiting, oh, come on, somebody, because it, it does depend how you wait. Can I tell you something? Get closer to God. Work on you. Do what God told you to do. You know what I'm saying? When you feel lonely them nights, ask God. Say, God, keep me tonight. You just got to be real. Come on, somebody. It's time out for all that foolishness and lying. 3-7. Ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of truth. I am mad at people that have their doctorate and everything. But they so intelligent, but they ain't got no spirit of God. They they talk good, very eloquent and all that good stuff, but they ain't got no power. They can't lay hands. That's why the churches are at a mess. I don't see people laying hands. I don't see people casting out demons. That's all Jesus did was cast out demons. He said, preach the gospel and cast out demons. He sent his disciples. That's what they did. He said, even the dem- the demons tremble at the word of Jesus at the name of Jesus but you can't you can't cast out nothing especially Satan can't cast out Satan oh I just said something come on somebody hallelujah let me continue 3 8 says now as Janice and Jabez withstood Moses so do these also resist the truth people excuse me they don't like the truth they get mad they think you are this that you know what they're gonna talk about you people you, you better get some strong skin they're gonna talk about you they men of corrupt minds reprobate concerning the faith come on somebody hallelujah three nine but they should proceed no further for their folly should be manifested that's why people getting um exposed in this hour hello Unto all men as there also was. You can't get away with anything. My, bi- my, bi- my Bible says this. I'm telling you right now. Wait for it. And, and it's not to try to bash nobody. Honey, sooner or later you're going to be exposed. You can't play with God, y'all. Y'all, you cannot play with God. I'm telling you right now. Hallelujah. Keep on playing. 310, 2 Timothy 310, but thou hast fully known my doctrine. The doctrine is of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Any other doctrine is a lying doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long suffering, charity, and patience. We are to love each other, have long suffering with each other. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I think I'm finished with this one. Okay, let's see. All right. Yes, I am. So let me go to the next scriptures. Y'all got to just bear with me. All right. Three. No, I think that's. Yeah. Okay. Okay, 313. Okay, 312. Thank you, Jesus. The Holy Spirit is good. He said, I'm going to help you out. I'm going to help you maneuver. <laughs> Second Timothy 310 says, Yea, and that all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. I want to encourage you. You're going to get tired. You're going to get weary. People are going to do you wrong. Can I tell you something? You still have to walk in love. It's okay to vent. But remember, James 119 says, What? Well, be swift to hear. Be swift to... um." to to just be quiet you 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 can't y'all speak too fast y'all y'all talk about each other too bad y'all gossip too much you got to stop that be slow to wrath be slow to speak and be quick to hear that's what james 119 you can't be talking about each other like a dog it's okay to vent but let me tell you something let's do your sister and your brother pray for them we're not doing that but let me tell you something but thank you lord i hear you the holy spirit says that the evil demons the devil is trying to get everybody against everybody. Y'all don't see that. 
I had to slow myself down because when I get excited, I, I kind of mumble jumble sometimes. Because this is such, when God laid this on me this morning, you guys, it hit my heart so deep. We got to come together. I'm not your enemy. You're not mine. The spirit of the Antichrist is our enemy. Y'all got to start loving each other. Let me tell you something. He's trying to put so much hate and rage in the world. That's why people are killing each other. You cannot be part of that ascension. You must be part of living God, the living word of God, the spirit of Jesus Christ. He opened not his mouth, even when they spit on him, even when they killed him. He did not do that. I'm telling you, God said the foundation must be love. Hallelujah. I feel you, God. Hallelujah. I feel the power of God up in here. I don't care what a person do. You pray. God will get them. Don't worry. We all get it. I don't care who you are. Hallelujah. 313. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse. Notice it's going to get worse and worse, y'all. Deceiving and being deceived. You ain't got to worry. What comes around goes around. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Y'all don't hear me. 314. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and has been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. The Holy Spirit is the greatest teacher. I don't care what nobody say. Oh, let me continue this. So, I'm in 2 Timothy 315. And that from a child thou hast known the Holy Scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. Point blank in the story. You got to know your Bible. You got to stay study the ship. So uh, show yourself approved straight up. All right. 2 Timothy 3. 16. All scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. Y'all don't want nobody to tell y'all nothing. When you're wrong, you're wrong. It doesn't matter if it's me, people. Hallelujah. 317. That the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Let me tell y'all something. This world is topsy-turvy and God says it's going to get worse. So I'm going to start putting more videos about getting closer to God, fasting, praying, staying in a loving spirit. Let me tell you something. He's trying to incite people. I keep hearing the word incite, incite. Do you know what incite means? That means a whisper. Do you, I, I, let me take you on a journey. I feel you got, I'm, let me take you on a journey. Do you know how he got God's angels to turn against him. You see, nothing just happens. It had to be a period of time. And I can just see that little snake. I can see that snake. Yes, I can. Just going into the angels whispering. Well, you know, God didn't really say this. Well, you know, God ain't really God. I mean, look at me. He made me the most beautiful angel. But should not be in charge. It starts subtly. Watch you whisper in your ears, God says, because the enemy is a whisperer. He loves to whisper good things and bad things to confuse you. That's why God says confusion is not of him. Let me tell you how you know it's God. God is not going to go against his scripture or his word. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You see, my word is not just in kingdom, but in power. Oh, come on, somebody. I feel the power of the Holy Ghost up in here. God is always going to tell you something that line up with his word. And another thing, God said, a lot of you don't know God's voice. So you're making bad decisions. Can I tell y'all something? How you know it's God? God will never give, tell you to sin to win. Somebody write that in the um, comments. God will never tell you to sin to win. The devil is like, God ain't going to tell you to sleep with nobody for money, to do this, to do that, so you can be blessed. The devil is a lie. Hallelujah. He's not going to tell you to go against his commandments. He's not going to tell you to sleep with a man because guess what? You want him to marry you and vice versa. Y'all got to stop sinning and talking about you winning. You're a liar. And then when you're in that situation, do you need a woman of God or a man of God to pray you out because you didn't listen in the first place? Yeah, I said it. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. You got to start to learn to live righteously in this hour, said the Lord. The enemy wants to sift you. Hallelujah, God says, like he did Peter. He said, I want to sift them. I want to test them. And some of you are falling the test because you're not hearing God. Hallelujah. And you're moving too fast. The enemy is always going to try to tell you, hurry up, hurry up, make a decision, make a decision. Because he don't want you to pray. You're supposed to pray and wait for confirmation, people of God. Hallelujah. So y'all moving too fast, said the Lord. And then after that, let me tell you how you know it's God. It a peace be in your spirit. If there's no peace, there's no God with that, with that situation. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I don't care what it is. It could be something minute. Hallelujah. The enemy's trying to take us to hell. I'm trying to tell you. Because guess what? He knows he has but a short time. So what he's trying to do is confuse you, use you, abuse you, annihilate you. He's not playing. People of God, he's trying to kill you spiritually and then physically. Hallelujah. 
Y'all got to stop. Y'all got to stop. God says, God says, either I'm God or you God. He said, allow me to be Lord of your life. Don't move unless I say move. Don't go unless I say go. Hallelujah. He said, pray to me. Learn of me. Learn my ways. God is literally begging his people in this hour. He's get close to me because I got to allow these things. And then some of you are mad at God because he's allowing things. God said, I am God all by myself. He said, did I not test Pharaoh? Did I not test Moses? Did I not test them all to see who was who? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just said something, y'all. Some of you are being tested for not only people to see who you are, but for you to know who you are, said the Lord. Hallelujah. Woo. All right. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who you are. God bless.